You know, for me, it lives sort of in along with all the others. It was really important to us to go back to Crystal Lake. It had been a long time since Jason had been there, and, and uh, we loved the setting of a camp. I think that we need these monsters, these boogeymen, these characters who embody all evil, because we can't deal with the real evil that we have to in our day-to-day -day lives. In the early 1970s, Connecticut-based filmmaker Sean S. Cunningham was struggling to make a name for himself, scraping by on a diet of industrial shorts and commercials, and even the occasional softcore porn. Back in the early 70s, big change was happening in the movie business. There had been success with the documentary forms and with handheld cameras, and, and there was a sense of anything was possible. And I remember it was a very big deal because Gremlins and Friday were both coming out pretty much over the same summer, within a couple weeks of each other, from what I remember. So that was very exciting as a kid, to have these two giant blockbusters coming out. And quite frankly, I think I only looked good when they finally turned on the rain. So I was grateful for, as cold as it was, I was so grateful because I said, oh God, at least I look good wet. When that phone call came in, trying to be professional and be, be stone-faced, I mean, Oh, that sounds great. Well, cool, we'll work the dates. Where are we shooting? Fantastic, we'll talk to the managers. But inside, you're like a 13-year-old uh, cheerleader at school girl going, oh my God, that's amazing! And that is what made it scary, it was the fact that, that you could only deter them. There was no way of killing them. They were gonna be around for the next generation and the next movie, no matter what you did to them, they were gonna be back. And they just couldn't decide. There was one point that we were both in a canoe, and then the canoe goes over, and then there was one point that maybe it was just Jared in the canoe, and I was on the dock, and then it ended up, no, we'll both be on the dock. They weren't sure if they were gonna do a sequel, but they wanted to keep it open-ended if they did do a sequel. 